What? <clears throat> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> yeah. Me either. Is that, does that mean we're back? Is we're that back. It? Is that the sign? <laughs> we're right, ready cool. to rock, dude. Awesome. All right, Scott. Not everybody can uh, learn everything in the gym. You can go to the gym and like pretty much use your mirror neuron system and watch people do Ooh. what others are doing and um, you can learn that way. How do you educate yourself outside of the gym? <clears throat> Tools, tips, and tricks, please. I would say uh, read. Read read a lot of uh, material on training and be careful where you read specific. it from. Uh, that, I'm about to get into that. I know, be I'm, careful where you I'm read it from. You part. know, it's, it's important <laughs> that you know that... Um, Exercise physiology is a science, okay? That means to a lot of things about it, there is one objective truth, all right? On a lot of other things, there's not, there's not a very clear truth yet, but on a lot of things, there is one objective truth. A lot of the things people have been being fed from infomercials for the last 40 years, from, you know, uh, all these Brazilian butt lift things <laughs> and all this stuff, it's, it's nonsense. It's it works that it gets you motivated to get up and do something about it, but you know there's a lot of myths out there, and some of these, um, some of these, I don't want to like, sh like Generally. crap on anybody, right. you know, and give a specific name, but a lot of these like kind of celebrity-ish trainers just perpetuate these myths. A lot of magazines perpetuate myths, so um, you know it, it's important to like note where you're getting the information from. So. Before you go to fitness magazines, go to fitness journals, okay? Right. Like the NSCA journal or the ASCM journal. All those, right, are, those are uh, accredited. That, yes, and, and the, it's scientific research about... Right. You're reading the direct scientific research about mm -hmm. fitness and training. You're not reading uh, what someone else read something that someone else wrote that someone else told them right. and they want to spin it so that you can buy it. It's, right. it's not that. It's the uh, it's, it's, fluff pieces. I actually have a, a real life... Uh, example of this Lazar like Sokolov or something like that. He's he's all over Instagram uh, he, All he is is some some ripped steroid user, right? Yeah, he put out a book about abs and some of the words he used are were like completely ridiculous and he, Like the guy he doesn't know anything. He's not certified in any Possible I'm not familiar way. with him. So but but he's not I know he's not certified in any way But he writes books about fitness and and core strength, which is total such baloney and all it is is for a final sale Yeah, so what you're saying Absolutely true. You gotta be careful what you're buying. Yeah, there's a lot of myths out there websites too and forums that you could go on to uh, Testosterone nation is a great one. Yeah. You know, they have some really good guys a friend of mine Nick Tuminello writes on there He's awesome. His content is incredible and it's truthful. It's no nonsense. It's the truth Unfortunately, here's the deal a lot of people there's this cognitive dissonance thing going on in the fitness industry where a lot of people clients they don't want to hear the truth they want to hear what they've been hearing for the last 20 years which usually is not the truth so let's say you know they they have a trainer they say oh yeah I'm trying to lose this belly fat here so I wear this band around my waist that makes me sweat more and uh, they saw a commercial that says they see a commercial for the last 10 years that says you could do that I'm the guy that comes in and say, here's why you shouldn't do that and why that's nonsense. And they're like, well, I don't want to hear that. I'm not right. training with you. Of course, it's easier for them yeah, to think exactly. that that works. Yeah. So yeah. that's where um, people, you know, you try to tell. And I don't say, hey, listen, I don't think you should do that. I say, listen, this is the truth. Don't take my word for it. Look it up somewhere. Google it. Here's a, It's in a textbook. Find it. Then get back to me. I have something to say about it. Still that. don't want to do it. They're still just so resistant to doing the same old stuff that they've always been doing. Fitness has been... A social with well, the most successful fitness programs are social, are social yes. constructs so yep. like as we were talking about yesterday on the phone uh, boutique workout places like like soul cycle yeah so popular because everybody knows each other and they're so tight-knit yes. well so here's the deal since people are social when you go ahead and say hey listen this belly band thing that you and all your girlfriends are using is junk <laughs> that's why they're not gonna like it because you're pretty much you know like yeah, antisocial. I don't say it like that. I, I you know, I, 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 I say it a lot nicer than that. Like, hey, listen, you know, let me tell you why you shouldn't be doing that. Right. You know, and I'm doing this to help you because you're doing something that's bad for you and you could be hurting yourself. Right. So it's more like that. Up. Yeah. You know, see, it's true. yeah. So I don't, I don't just crap on it like that and no. say, listen, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the hell you got that thing from. 
Another website, though, Girls Gone Strong. For women that are training, Girls Gone Strong is an awesome website. A lot of, they, they focus more on strength training for women. Not, you know, the Brazilian butt lift and all that stuff and the lose an inch of belly fat in a week by doing this crazy crash diet. A more There's balanced a of, approach, right? Exactly. I, I always hear about girls saying, um, I don't want to get bulky and masculine looking. But I don't that's think not that's like, No, right? So I, I'd like to, if, if we have time, I'd like to just talk about that for one second please like so us. a lot of the things that i try to do is Master. get women to lift uh heavy weights right we all need to be lifting heavy weights oh yeah uh, women especially but they're the ones that mostly just won't do it so a few common sense reasons for that let's say you're a woman you don't want to lift more than a five pound weight but you carry around a 30 pound toddler all day that just doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. You carry around a 15-pound purse on your left shoulder all day, but you won't carry, you won't work out with a 10-pound weight. Stuff like that. Yeah. Plus, you know, we have different kinds of muscle fibers, some that are responsible for lifting heavy stuff a, a few times, some that are responsible for lifting light stuff a lot of times. If you're only training one, or one type of those muscle fibers, then the other types aren't getting their training, right? And the one time that you have to lift something heavy... God forbid, you know, you hear the story about the mother that lifted the car off her son and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, you're in some kind of situation like that. Like I said before, you don't want that to be the time that you realize how not ready you are to be to be do something physically demanding. Right. You know, Se uh, third, women don't make testosterone like men do. Right. Building, bulking up like that and building muscle takes testosterone. Men have a lot more testosterone than women have. So the whole thing about, you know, I have started lifting weights and I got bulky and I got big, usually it's because you gained fat, not muscle. Right. That's what I see a lot of. So uh, it's, 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 it's difficult for women to get big and bulky and, right. and jacked like Greg. <laughs> and it goes back to the practical application of like, yeah. what are you going to use it for? Exactly. You know, if, you, if you have a kid. Like Did you just say like me? Dude, <laughs> look at those guns, man. You know, but like, you know, why would you, you know, only work out with a five pound weight when you lift... 30 to 50 lift, yeah. pounds at your job or something every day you know it just it makes no sense so and i'm not trying to like diss women or anything you know you just simply don't know and, and need to be educated and um need to listen to the professionals that are there to help you now my problem is here this is here here we go let's get into it why are people neglecting their bodies in the first place like what do they think this is I feel like we're a bunch of selfish mofos that doesn't want to put the work in where it counts the most. I mean, one wise man said, I might have been you, you're pretty freaking wise, Scott, that <laughs> we are so uneducated about the one machine that we are inside every single day. I did say that. I did say you that. You said you're that. You're right. You're right. And here we yeah, are walking around in our freaking Nikes on that we don't even know what good they are because we don't put them to use. Yeah. And and we're getting we're getting lazy, man. We are. We're, as, a, as a human species, we are extremely lazy. And um, that's, a, that's another one of those social things, that a cultural thing maybe that needs to be changed. You know, I mean, I, I think it starts with, you know, let's say uh, they started doing it with kindergartners right now. They started actually holding them accountable for physical education class, giving them playtime outside, not just giving your kid an iPad to shut up when you want to do something, you know, letting kids go outside and play, just being physical. And I feel like maybe that's they're coming. They would be coming from a different starting point to where they would grow up wanting to do more physical things. Right. Nowadays, when people think about fitness, they think about weight loss. They don't think about being stronger. The average right. person, when they talk about going to the gym, they think about either getting big and veiny or losing weight. And this whole like. The fat you know, phenomena. It, well, the whole like fat shaming thing, and say, well, oh, if you tell someone you need to go to the gym, that means you hate them because they're fat or something. Fitness, give me a break. And that's just like that is ridiculous, you know. Like, I tell my girlfriend that she, I I always told my girlfriend, you know, she needs to work out, not because she's not fat, obviously she's very attractive and fit looking, but because she needs to be strong and fit and healthy. Nothing now, to do with weight loss. Why? I'm not, Any, I'm not, you know why? It might sound why? redundant, but why, Scott? Why? Why do you need to be fit and healthy and strong? So that you can contend with the everyday stressors of everyday life, and so that you can survive, so you can live long, so you can be healthy, so you can, so you can not be sick, so you can. Uh, so well, many reasons. Me if I'm wrong, I don't mean to put words in your mouth here, but it seems like in order to achieve maximum efficiency and proficiency in everyday life, you need to exercise. Uh, yes. 
I would say that. Yes? So... We're so, a hard yes on that from master. That is, that is a, hard, a hard yes. So right, not, not have, only folks. not only when it comes to being strong or burning fat or building muscle and all that stuff, but you're working on coordination, right? You're working on speed. You're working on just doing work efficiently. Okay. When you work on coordination and um, and, uh, and 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 things like that, coordination, you're actually making yourself smarter in a way. You know. Kids, kids that that uh, I'll give you an example. I have a, I had a client who was motor thirty w- motors. Thank you, thank you, motor skill. <laughs> I'm like I'm the freaking I, I can't even that anyway. So <laughs> we got it's uh, okay, Scott. Thank you. I had a brain fart there for a second. Um, so I had a client who was 31 years old. Okay, first time I trained him, it looked like he had just jumped into a human body and was trying it out for the first time. Okay, right. now he was from India, and he was explaining to me how in India. It's it's almost like how America is becoming now. How there's their, their culture is not a physical culture. Right. They they don't put a lot of emphasis on being fit and working out and stuff and playing sports. It's just not like that there. So that when he came here and he wanted to start working out, I mean the guy, you know, I would say, okay, put your left hand up and he like this, and he'd put his right hand down like this. You know, couldn't even follow uh, instructions or kind of like mirror what I was doing just because he's never had to do it before. You know, yeah. and um, that can happen to you if you're not working on things like that when you're a kid. By the time you're an adult, you're gonna be a mess, right, man? You know, and uh, I think that's where it starts with is with just like changing the culture of how we what we do with these kids when they're in school, and we're just letting them get away with being so lazy and passive and docile. And, and so you just had a kid, yeah? Yes, I have a two-month-old son. What's your plans? So we yeah we were talking about that a second ago. So here's the deal. I have a two month old son, and part of the reason why I've been thinking about this a lot lately is because I have a two month old son. Because I just had a son. And Scott, um, did you just have a son? I just had a son. <laughs> does, that, does that change anything? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have just had a son. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So I see the, the kind of stuff that's just going on in society today in our country, and it makes me like terrified. For him, you know, obviously, I want to raise him a certain way. I want to raise him in like a physical culture, right? But I'm him, me, and his mother. We're only two people against what millions and millions of people out and, there in the, the world system. are going to be teaching him every single day. So, I mean, we're doing such a disservice to the human race when we let people be be just lazy and not and not physical. You know, uh, God forbid in. 20 years if my son or if you guys have kids and your kids have to be drafted to fight in world war three which i hope never happens but it's not a very yeah, far-fetched idea know, nowadays yeah. right i mean what do you think a bunch of 19 year olds who have never had to compete for anything in their lives who have never faced any kind of adversity who have never gotten off their lazy asses who've been stuck playing video games on ipads all day who've never done any kind of exercise or just been disciplined at all how do you think they're going to handle that? They're not. You know? They're going to crumble. They better have a really like, good boot camp. Like, they're going to wish they had a dad like you. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> you know, like the, uh, the, the environment that we're competing with doesn't change, but the way we're preparing for it keeps changing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So, so how do you think, obviously your son's going to start growing up and going to school soon. Like, How do you think you're going to compete against that for the time being at least? <sighs> I mean, you know... To be honest with you, I'm not even sure. I'm kind of figuring it out as I'm going. You know, there's certain things that there's a certain way I want them to be, but I know that you know, parents, when you try to force your kid to be a certain way, they're gonna go exact the opposite way. They right. want they want to do what the everyone else is doing. They don't want to do what your parents are right. telling you to do. So maybe you just give them so, a bunch of iPads and <laughs> iPhones, and hopefully they'll go the opposite. Direction. I don't. Yeah, I don't even know, man. I mean, just you know, I hope he becomes. I hope I, I can help him be a reasonable person that really kind of weighs the options of things and looks at things objectively and not just say, well, everyone else is doing this, so I'm going to do this. And I, I really don't know. I'm going to figure it out as I go. I guess that's the best we could do, right? Well, you're going to have a few minutes to think about it on this commercial break, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank we you. will be right back.